want to have a student-centered program where the, where the kids' interests are what are driving you forward, you really need that small ratio between instructor and participant. Uh, does what we're talking about here line up with you know, the school's goals of meeting standards? And we definitely recognize the importance of you know, the school's curriculum and what they have to teach. Uh, and it's really important to be able to you know, not only justify to schools that it's worth sending their kids out here, um, but also just for them to understand that we've been thinking about this. We know it's required of them. When you're outside, when you're like in a young naturalist program, and there's only five students, and then there's one instructor, then you get to have a better interaction. You get to ask as many questions as you want. Um, everything is just more interactive. So we like to think of ourselves as having the smallest class sizes in the city's largest classroom. The largest classroom, of course, are the parks. Frick Park is our largest city park, and it provides an incredible backdrop for all of the learning that we're doing with kids. And when you're outside, I think you're able to just um, be more freer and find what you like. The learning actually starts with you. What's great about training the young naturalists to be teachers and leaders is then we have even more instructors to work with our campers. So when we go out, say, with a group of 24 campers, uh, and we want to break them into small groups to, say, look under a rock for a salamander or some other creature, we can pair them up so that each young person is only with maybe one of the young naturalists to three of our campers. Uh, but also, we think it's really important for the students to learn that you know what they're learning in science, you know, it really means something in the real world. It means something in their backyard. It's not just something that happens far away in rainforests or in the desert somewhere. You know, like these things you're learning about in science class are happening outside, and you can see them, and you can, you know, and they impact you, and you impact them. When I first joined the high school urban ecosystems program, and then I became a crew leader. It wasn't too long after that that I could see myself doing something in college, whether I major in environmental science or geology or something of that sort. So I think that nature itself just creates the foundation of what you want to do, but that decision is ultimately up to you.